and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Shannon and today I've got another book talk video to share with you guys. In fact, this will be our final Christmas book talk for 2023. And today we are talking about Love Holly by Emily Stone. So as is with the book talks, I'll give you a brief synopsis, then we can talk a bit about the spoilers and things like that. I will say right off the bat, I really enjoyed this. I thought it was a sweet, a sweet story, perfect for this time of year. So yeah, basically we've got a girl named Holly, our main character here, as the title might tell you. And three years ago, um, near Christmas time, she was out with her sister. They were driving, I think, to their parents' house. They stop at a cafe for coffee, and when they're in there, Holly runs into this man named Jack, like literally bumps into him. And they exchange numbers, and there's just something that right off the bat, there's a spark, you know? So off they go, they're getting ready to get back on the road with their coffees, um, and like I said, Holly's with her sister Lily, and Lily's pregnant. They get back on the road, and there's an accident. Now, for the first little bit, I'm thinking that in that accident, Holly's sister dies because we know that in the present now, three years later, um, Holly's alone on Christmas. And she begins to write a letter to, there's a program, it's called the Dear Stranger Christmas Letter Program. And what you do is you write a letter to a stranger with no return address, but you kind of tell them a bit about your story and you hope to make them feel a little less alone at Christmas. So it's for people who are alone. And so she does that and um, she tells a bit about what happened. And then we learn that it wasn't Holly's sister that died in the accident, but she did lose the baby. And since then, um, Lily has not spoken to her, not a word. So Emma, or sorry, Holly gets her Christmas letter in the mail from her stranger and it's a woman named Emma and she's alone at Christmas and she shares a bit about her story and she learns that her son um, nearly 20 years ago died in a car accident and um, there's something about this woman in this letter that makes Holly want to reach out to her even though that's not part of the program you're not supposed to do that but in the letter Emma mentions a cafe and Holly's like I know that cafe that's where I met Jack three years ago right before the accident and so from there the story kind of takes off as Holly decides she's gonna go find this woman and let her have a friend, a better Christmas, because in the letter she finds out that Emma also has cancer and she's alone for Christmas. So that's kind of the premise there. Holly deciding she's going to go meet her stranger and help her have a Merry Christmas. So there you go. If you don't want spoilers, now would be the time to click away um, and we're going to get into them. I don't even know how much we're going to get into them, but there will be spoilers, so be warned. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, Holly ends up going and finding Emma. Emma's not thrilled about it. She's like, you weren't supposed to come find me. This was an anonymous letter to a stranger where I could be vulnerable and speak what I need to speak and how dare you come find me. <laughs> and Holly's taken aback by how upset this woman is. She thought, she kind of thought she'd knock on the door and be greeted with open arms. Well, not knock on the door. First she goes to the cafe and then she's given Emma's address. So Emma's not thrilled, but over time Holly wears her down a little bit and Emma does invite her to spend the night since it's stormy out and it's Christmas. And from there they begin to form a bit of a friendship. And Holly decides when she's leaving that she's going to take it upon herself to track down this woman's grandson. Because when the accident happened nearly 20 years ago that killed Emma's son, Emma had been driving, and in the car with her was her son, Richard, his wife and her grandson. And since the accident, Emma hasn't really seen or spoken to her son's wife and her grandson because they kind of blamed her for the accident because she was the driver. So Holly can really relate to that because of what happened with her and Lily. And that was one thing that always kind of got me like her, Holly and Lily were hit by another car 
and I know that Holly had been like on her phone trying to find something out, but Holly hadn't been in the wrong. She was hit. And um, obviously don't use your phone while driving very bad. But it, it it surprised me the way, you know, we're three years in and Lily's still not speaking to her over an accident that wasn't her fault. So anyway, Holly decides that she's going to go and find this woman's grandson, um, even though she knows that um, Emma probably wouldn't want her to do that. But she does it. And she tracks him down because she knows where he works, because Emma knows. And she goes to the building where he works, and it's Jack, the man she met at the cafe. And he sees her and he's like, oh my god, like, it's you. I've been thinking about you for three years straight. You never called me. And she's like, yeah, I lost the cup that you put your number on. And he's like, oh my god, like, he's so excited to see her. And so because he's so excited, she kind of gets nervous and she doesn't tell him while she's there. Because, of course, she's very, why she's there. Because, of course, she's very surprised that it's him and she doesn't quite know how to tell him. So he invites her out and she still doesn't tell him. And it takes a while before she finally does. And when she does finally tell him, he's upset that it took her so long to tell him. <laughs> So, sorry for all the kind of jerky cuts in this video. Um, I'm getting over a cold and I keep having to cough and <laughs> so I keep having to gut it. Anyway, when he finally finds out, he's upset and they don't see or talk to each other for a while because they have a bit of a blowout. Then finally, a few months later, he goes and looks her up because he's like, okay, maybe I overreacted. But I was really caught off guard and it felt like, like, what do you mean? And he doesn't know what to believe about Holly anymore. So he goes to find her once he's calmed down. It's like, I don't know how many months later, months later. And, um, you know, he tells her he kind of overreacted. And now he wants to know a bit more about Emma. And she tells him about the cancer and she gives him his contact info if she does, if he does decide that he would like to reach out to her. Throughout all of this, Holly and Emma are becoming closer and closer. They're kind of chosen family at this point, spending a lot of time together. Eventually, they decide to go on a little holiday together to Venice because neither of them have been but have always wanted to go. While they're there, they're having a great time, but Emma has a bit of a spell. She um, falls down, sort of passes out, and ends up in the hospital. Now they're in Italy. A lot of the doctors aren't speaking English. They're not letting her in to see Emma. And not knowing what to do, she calls Jack. So it's been months again since she's seen him because, you know, they kind of decided they better not try to have any sort of relationship. It would be awkward. It would be weird. But she calls Jack because Emma's in the hospital. They won't let her see her. And he's like, I'm on my way. And then we have Emma's and Jack's reunion when um, he gets there and he goes in to see her. And it's beautiful. And, um... Emma's like, I told you to mind your business. <laughs> so anyway, through the story, we find out that on the day that Holly met Jack back three years ago at the cafe, he was on his way to a memorial that he had planned for his father. Um, just like a celebration of life many years later after he had died. And he had invited Emma to come. That was kind of his olive branch. And she never showed up. But at this point, we find out that the reason she didn't show up was she had been on the way, but had come across a car accident. And she had pulled over and she called the ambulance and she couldn't leave until the people who were involved in the car accident had gotten help. She just couldn't. And so she missed the memorial. And we find out that the car crash, of course, that she had come across was the one Holly and Lily had been involved in. And so we see this, like, um, invisible string, as Taylor Swift might say, <laughs> have been tying these people together for years. And, um, yeah, from there, it just, they, you know, we get to see more of Holly and Emma's relationship. We get to see Jack and Holly, uh, Jack and Emma begin to form one after all these years. Eventually, Holly and Lily, um reconnect so there's a lot of you know family reconnection um just perfect for a christmas story you know and um eventually we get another flash forward a year later after so 
back in like the present, it's Christmas time again. It's been a year and uh, Jack and Holly are spending Christmas with Emma. Then we get the flash forward a year and we learn that Emma has passed. She passed in March, but that Holly and Jack are together and they're going to be spending this Christmas with both his family and then they'll also be spending it with Lily and Holly and Lily's parents. And so just overall, it was a very sweet uh, story. I thought it was great. And I think this lady here, Emily Stone, I think she writes exclusively Christmas books. Now I could be wrong, but I, that's the vibe I got when I looked her up briefly. Um, I'll have to look into it again. But yeah, okay, yes, the other two books she's written are One Last Gift and Always in December, so those definitely sound like Christmas books. I'd definitely read another one from her. It's that sort of sweet, soft story that um, just feels good over the holidays. At first, when it started with the car accident, I was like, oh my god, is her sister dead? Like, is that how we're starting this book? Which would have been fine, you know, I like my stories a little dark, but I thought for a Christmas book that was going a little hard, but um, it wasn't that. It was, um, she lost the baby, which is still, of course, devastating, but, um, it just, it was different than I thought it was going to be. But I loved it, and if you love Christmas and you love reading, you'll probably love it too. So that's going to do it for me for today. Then, well, today is, as I'm filming this, it's December 22nd, um, and that's the day it'll go up. I'm currently filming tomorrow's vlog as well, so we've only got today, tomorrow, oh my god, like, it's... Christmas is almost here. December has flown by in a blink. Like, what is going on? So, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you've read this, let me know. If you've read any of other, if you've read any other Emily Stone stories, let me know which is your favorite. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.